Hey YouTube, welcome back and good to see you again. We have a great video for you today. We're gonna to look at some special clowns. Some crazy, crazy special clowns. I've been trying to get these into the project for a while. We hit it, we're real excited. And maybe as a bonus, we'll have a chance to actually cut a couple clutches. I don't typically do that on camera, but we got some cool ones and we need to learn about some odds. So let's dive in. Okay, so we have a clutch that I'm really excited about showing you guys. So this is from the clown project but specifically from the Special Clown Project. Now the Special is a gene that's part of the Blue-Eyed Lucy complex, so the Mojave and the Lesser, um, the Russo, the Special. The Special, when you mix it with that complex, makes it with the crystals, like so you have Mojave crystals or Lesser crystals. And it's really, really cool, but they're very, very light colored snakes. And so my goal was to use Special more as an enhancing gene in the clown because it actually really blows them up, makes them extra bright but without combining it to the rest of the complex, it's gonna make it look really white. So we end up with a really cool results from these and I'll show them to you and talk about the pairing. All right, so we're gonna start with the simplest one in the combo, in the clutch and then work our way up. So this is just a spot nose head clown. Now this whole clutch is extra spicy for some reason. They're all been trying to bite me. So if you're gonna see me get bit, this will be the clutch. Um, so this is just a spot nose head clown, but we're gonna start and we're gonna kind of build the different layers as we get to the really, really cool ones. But check that out, just a standard spot nose look. People ask me a lot about the spot nose clown or spot noses in general, is they have spots on the tip of the nose a lot of times, but not always. And sometimes non-spot noses have spots on the tip. So it's not really enough. Um, they have a really unique kind of almost symmetrical pattern um, and a really interesting heavy head stamp. But that's just something that takes a real good eye to learn over time. So we'll start with that one and then we're gonna Look at a couple more of the ingredients from the clutch. This is a special yellow belly het clown. So this is just a, another one from the ingredients. So special, you guys know what yellow belly does. It gives all these checkering on the edge of the belly and then it gives these red kind of flames coming up. Then the next part of it is that the special adds on this brightness that you're seeing because yellow bellies typically are more of a dark brown color. It's got a nice bright color to it. That's the effect that we're looking to add into the clown. So now we're combining them together here. This is a fire special spot nose clown. So you see here that we have the special boosting the color from the spot nose, plus the fire gene is also in there boosting that color. So we have almost this uh, kind of really, really burnt out, you know, cream color here on the top. Still have that symmetrical pattern, the kind of real busy pattern, the head stamp, the spot on the end of the nose. That's a really cool animal. The next one is absolutely insane. It's pretty much the craziest one in the clutch that's not a clown. That is special spot nose fire yellow belly. So the only difference between these two is the addition of the yellow belly gene. So see that what the yellow belly gene, gene adds the same you know things adds the, the checkering on the edge of the belly. You see the difference, and then it adds these orange flames on the sides. But the effect of those two things really changes the look of the snake. And that head is one of the absolute coolest non-clown heads you could possibly imagine out of this clutch. It's wicked. It almost looks like it's a like a leaf or something coming out that's burning or something. It's really neat. So we have three visual clowns in the clutch. And the first one is a special yellow belly clown. Now I got my special clown project from a couple people, Malcolm Pugh, which I'll link him. He's a really awesome, uh, he's got an awesome band. I'll, I'll link him in the description. And the other guy is Tony Gator with um, over in the UK. Thanks guys for this project. It's super, super cool. We're really excited to add it in here. So this is a special yellow belly clown. You see we have the flames, we have the edging still on the clown, but the special adds all this really awesome orange and red to the animal. It's really, really nice. And this is kind of the effect that when we first saw it, we were looking forward to bringing this special gene into the clowns and adding to what we've seen with the red stripe and the orange stream and some of those others. The next two are the ones that really, really pop. So the difficulty, this thing is just insane. The, the difficulty with these will be 
IDing them. Okay, so we had the the pairing was Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Fire Spot Nose, Clown. So beautiful, bright, bright, bright clown to a special Het Clown. Um, and so we see how beautiful these are. See how bright they are. But knowing if all the genes stack to make this, or if maybe it's missing Orange Dream and has fire, or it has fire, um, or maybe it has Orange Dream and not fire. But we definitely see the effect of the special. We definitely see the effect of the yellow belly, the spot nose, and it is just neon, neon colored. Extremely happy with this result. And we didn't expect necessarily, we, it's hard to go into these with a really idea of what it looked like. We just knew that we were stacking all the stuff that would not have negative interaction. They'd all have a net positive interaction with each other. We knew that if we get them all to land on the same snake, it'd be an incredible effect like this. That one was a girl, and then we have one more in the clutch. This is a boy, and in my mind, this one is actually even prettier. Again, I think the gene makeup on this one is slightly different, but knowing exactly what they are without breeding it will be tough. But look how much more blown up the sides are on this one compared to the last one here, which still wants to bite me. Look at the difference in the sides. The difference in color is slight, but it's there. So we're either looking at, you know, just variation with exactly the same combo or a slightly different combo with a really, really amazing, amazing effect. I love yellow belly and spot nose and a clown. It just creates those crazy, crazy sides. And that's kind of where we're at with clowns right now. For a long time, it was all about pattern reduction. And now we're on the opposite of that with clowns. We're doing all kind of crazy side patterns and busyness and still looking to bring out the bright colors and pattern. What's up guys? So today I'm getting all hot and sweaty. I'm building some new animal plastics racks. We got in, you can see them there in front of the, you know, mountain of Reptichip, but looking forward to getting those together and filling in some of the gaps we have in our hatchling room in the new facility. So I've got the racks finished and I've got them just kind of sitting in place right now. Nothing's hooked up, but you know, this is one of them. They're only two wide and I, we, I did three of them and it's just to, to fill in the kind of the gaps we had. And I've got one over here too. We're already trying to move some animals down because we're trying to take advantage of all the space. And you know, we're not adding a ton with just two wide, but, but we're just trying to make as much use of this room as we can, especially when you know we get to the, the peak of the hatching season for us in 2020. Okay, so we have a really exciting clutch today. This is a super red stripe clown clutch. Now we did make the first Super Red Stripe Clown uh, three or four months ago. And so I'll link up that video in the description, but this is our next chance at it. And this is exciting because it's from a really special male, a Red Stripe Spot Nose Yellow Belly GHI Clown to a nice big Red Stripe Pet Clown. She's gorgeous and big. So I'm really excited to find out how many eggs she's hiding under here. Looks really good. So I grab the tip of her tail there, otherwise she'll, when I pick her up, she kind of drags the whole clutch with her. Look how empty she is after the fact. It's amazing how much of their body weight they lose when they lay their eggs. That's why they eat so ravenously afterwards. So what, two, four, six, eight. Good solid clutch. So my average, people ask a lot what like the average number of eggs per clutch is, and what it ends up being is it's usually eight at the beginning of the season when I have a lot of my older girls laying, but by the end of the season when you take all, you know, 200 or so clutches I make a year, it's always seven point something. So between seven and eight is the average number of eggs that my ball pythons lay every year. And it's been that way for about seven years straight now with never quite managed to crack the, the eight mark. All right guys, so we're in front of the incubator here. We're gonna dig into a really awesome lavender albino clutch. Um, hopefully I can set up the camera so you guys can see inside a little bit and we're just praying for some good odds. Let's get into it. All right guys, so this would be kind of a fun clutch. We wanted to, uh, we don't normally cut clutches on camera, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, this pairing was a blackhead het lavender female bred to an inchy yellow belly pied het lavender. So the whole clutch will be het pieds. 
Um, one and four, it's head to head pairing as far as lavender goes. So one and four will be a lavender, is how it's supposed to be. Check that out. We had a couple heads out here on their own, and I thought it'd be a fun one to cut and collect. And I do prefer to cut them after they already have heads out. And the best part of cutting them when you wait extra and wait for them to put their heads out, not only is it safer and all that, but the main reason to do it is that you can actually cut it open enough to be able to see what um, is in there. You don't have to be super careful and all about about all that. You can just kind of enjoy the process a little more and see what you have. So we'll start with these two that we can see. Ooh, so that's an inch of yellow belly right there. You can see the goo everywhere. See, there's no veins on the inside of this eggshell. They've already absorbed quite a bit. In fact, the snake may already be, even be ready to come out. Inchy. Actually, that's that's a that's inchy blackhead. Sorry, I'm trying to keep on camera here. That's definitely an inchy blackhead. Yellow belly. That's cool. So that's the whole thing we can get. So that's inchy blackhead yellow belly, het pied, 66% het lavender. This one made a hole with his head, with his nose there, but then it pushed his head through and because his head is wider on the back, it can't pull it back. It's the poor guy, he's kind of stuck there. We'll, we'll help him out. Fun stuff. We'll free him up. There. Okay, let's see what we got here. Inchy blackhead, but not yellow belly. So inchy blackhead, het pied, 66% het lav. Now we're gonna cut the three that haven't pipped on their own. And hopefully we'll get a lavender here. One and four, we got three eggs. Looking for a miracle here. And first one is a lavender. We didn't have to wait too long. Check that out. Ooh, it's an inchy lavender too. Now, see, because we're cutting it so um, late when they're basically ready to come out anyway. See how the snake is not, if you've watched other cutting videos, you'll know that the snake is in like a, its own little yolk, yolk sac or like a clear membrane um, when you cut and, and they haven't broken through that already. But because it's so close to hatching on its own, it's already through that. It's already technically breathing, I don't know if it's actually breathing air on the inside of the egg, but it's actually moving around the inside of the egg through that membrane. Inchy, inchy lavender, I'd almost say it's inchy blackhead lavender. Still got goo going everywhere. Very nice, very nice baby. And het pied, that's, so that's lavender het pied, so that's, uh, that's a nice little inchy blackhead dream signal maker. So let's see. Ooh, another lavender. So we're beating the odds now. Now this one, this one also looks inchy to me, but not as sure on that. Look all the veins, isn't that cool? So another lavender. So we're already beating the odds because we're supposed to get, on average, one out of four eggs. So now we have two out of four eggs. So we're beating the odds. And we'll see how we do on the last one. I'm thinking this is gonna be a hat, not visual. It's a lavender. I'm wrong, it is a lavender. I like to be wrong about that. Check that out. This one's really cool too. So we really beat the odds on this, guys. Extra fun. So although we prefer not to do head-to-head -head pairings because it does put us behind mathematically on the odds, you can see how the odds can go either way. It really doesn't, you can't predict just based on that which way it's gonna go. All right, guys, so we still have a couple of pairings going on here. So I can show you without disturbing them. This is an awesome, awesome pie I got from Ozzy, Ozzy Boyds. He's crushing it this year, guys. Check him out on Instagram, I'll also in the link. Um, that is ODYB Inchy Leopard Fire Pied. Crazy to a super inchy OD Pied. So fingers crossed we can make some even cooler stuff. All about those odds. But that's a beautiful pair right there. Here's another one I'm real excited about, see if they're still locked up from this morning. So that is a white lace. It's a super lace, gorgeous, being bred by a inchy pastel desert ghost clown hiding his head there. But this will be an awesome pair because it'll make 
pastel inchy lace double head DG clowns. I think it'd be a great project for the future. One more. This is a gorgeous ultra milk clown. Incredible. Bread 2A. Red stripe spot nose yellow belly double head ultra milk clown. So fingers crossed we can get her to go. She's fat and happy and looking good. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. I really appreciate every comment, every subscription. It means a lot since we came back, all the views and nice, uh, nice comments you guys have made. Um, I'm not really a YouTuber, I'm just a snake breeder. Um, so I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't feel like you guys cared and appreciate it, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.